So the first thing you want to do is you want to set, determine which side of the head is the top and which is the bottom. The shiny side is going to be the top and the way you can tell is just scrape your fingernail and if you can see a little bit of a mark and that tells you yes this is the bottom head. First we put the ring on and what we're going to do is we're going to put the rim over the ring and we want to slide the head underneath as best we can and do it all around. Okay. Sometimes this can be a little bit difficult. The thinner the head the easier it is to do but of course some people prefer thicker heads on the drum and that's a personal choice of course. Now, if I can spread a little bit, I'll use some needlepoint pliers, pull it out a bit. You want to work fairly quickly before the head starts to dry. Uh, okay, let's see if I can get some of these lugs on. Oh, we've got two. As you can see, I've got two lugs on, one on either side, and we're going to do the other two now. There. Okay, so we've got all our lugs on. Now I'm just going to tighten them very loosely. Just, just a slight bit. I'm trying to do roughly the same amount on each one. Okay. So we want to keep the head fairly uniform. Okay, so before we tighten it too far, I want to take all the wrinkles out. Okay. And you want to see the other side, you can sort of see inside, looking up here, checking for any wrinkles in the skin. Looks all looks pretty good. I'm just going to tighten a bit more by hand. And you're going to want the head sticking up above the rim, okay? Just slightly. Uh, I'm going to start just trimming some of that head out of the way, but before I do that, I think I'll just trim, I'm going to tighten it a little bit more. You know, you can do it clockwise, counterclockwise, or just like you would a tire across. It's up to you, basically. Trying to get that little wrinkle out of there. Yeah. Now we can start trimming the head. I'm going to use, uh, start off with a pair of surgical scissors. You want to be careful not to cut the head, not to poke the head. Almost there. And if you do it close enough to the rim, then you don't have to go back and do any trimming. Okay, there we go. So this is the excess. We can throw this out now. And voila. This is our Newly skinned bongo, macho. Take a look, just check again underneath for any wrinkles. No, I'm gonna tighten a little bit more, just by hand a bit. See that's all equal between the distance between the nut and the end of the lug. So pretty all pretty close. Another way of checking is this way, you look around and see that you got the same distance between the top of the head and this collar. Looks pretty good. good. And I'll leave it a probably about a day to dry. And then within a few days it'll be ready to play. So there we go. We're all done.